Today we're going to look at group aggregates with Telerik's RAD grid view. Part of Telerik's RAD controls for Silverlight and WPF control suite for .NET XAML development. In a line of business applications, your users might like to see aggregate functions to the group rows. These functions allow you to display information about the data in the group, such as the first item, the last item, count of items, etc. RAD grid view comes with this functionality built in and has seven modes available. It has an average function, which returns the average of the values in the groups, a count function, which is the number of all items in the group, a first and last function, which returns the first or the last element in a group according to the current sorting, a max and min function, which of course gives you the max or min values of the group, and then finally, a sum function, which returns the sum of all values for the group. Let's jump into Visual Studio 2010 and create one. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010, and we're working with the same project that we've been working with in other parts of the series. So we have our RAD grid view already added to our Silverlight application, and if I run this application, then we will see our data. So we have our data listed here and there's a couple of things that your users might like to see. Uh, maybe they would like to see the total amount of items in this uh, data set. Maybe they would like to see maybe the maximum value of the age or a min value or maybe even they would like to see a sum or an average of the age. You kind of get the idea here. So let's go ahead and let's switch back to Visual Studio and let's go ahead and add in some of this functionality. So we're just going to close out of the browser here and we're going to open this up a little bit uh, wider where everybody can see it. And we're going to go to our last name. So inside of our last name, I'm just going to expand this where I can begin typing Telerik grid view data column dot aggregate functions. And now I can actually use Telerik count function. And we'll just give this a caption of total number of records and we'll close that tag out. Let's go ahead and add in our show column footers and add this to true. So now when we run the application it should give us a total number of all the records in this data set. So we've launched the application and down here at the bottom we see total number of records is equal to 15. And if you actually count these, you'll see that we have 15 items here. So that's one way to look at it. And But what we really want to look at is a couple of different things that we can do with numerical data, such as age. You could also think of this as maybe uh, cells data. So we'll close this back out again. And we'll come to our age. And just like we did before, we will add in our Telerik dot grid view grid view data column dot aggregate function and I'm just going to copy and paste this and in this sample maybe we want to know a max age so we can go back to Telerik and we can go to our max function we can give this a caption of maybe max age and run our application again. Now when we run this application we'll see we have a max age of 67 and of course with the built-in sorting and filtering that already comes with RAD grid view we can quickly see that 67 is the maximum age in this data set. Of course, going back to the different functions that are available, the average, the count, 
first, last, max, min, and the sum function. All of this functionality is available to you very quickly and very easily. So the last one we'll try is the sum function. And as you can see here, we have the sum of all values. Now this isn't very useful for age, but it would be very useful for sales data. As always, I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, please tune in to tv.teleric.com for more videos and check out blogs.teleric.com for the latest news and announcements.